In today's video, we're going to look at making another enhancement to the, the CNC 3018 that I've made a few changes to. I'm going to be making it to the machine that I've, I've made all these alterations to and show you how we can extend the bed, which is, is in a standard 3018, allows you to, to cut approximately 30 centimeters by 18 centimeters. With this kit, it allows us to extend the, the 18, the, the Y axis, from from 18 centimeters to 40 centimeters which as you can you know, that's obviously more than doubling the, the size that you can cut and i'm going to do it on the machine that i've made other changes to that i have videos on um so we'll, we'll zoom in but just to sort of give you a, a high level overview this is my machine i originally bought it actually a couple of years ago uh, for 140 dollars it was an open box on on ebay and what I've done since then is I, I changed the, the shuttle so that the, the piece that the actual cutting um, motor goes, goes onto. And when I did that, it reduced the amount of, of clearance that I have down here. So what I did was I also raised this gantry, which allowed me to, to increase the, the, uh, the actual amount of, of space that I have here to cut. Um, and you can see that change here. So typically this, this piece of the gantry here on, on a, a, a stock one of these is connected to this bottom rail. I added this rail, so I bought this rail, I made these pieces on both sides and I, I put the gantry onto the, this new rail. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be extending this rail out to be 40 centimeters using a kit which I also then need to extend these three bars and obviously the other rail, and then I'll put it back together again with the extended gantry, slightly over-engineered, but that, that's, the, uh, that's what I did. And it's been quite a popular video, so I now want to show you how basically we're going to make the next change to this. So I'll change views and then we'll, we'll start by basically removing these, this piece on both sides I'll remove the gantry completely so we're just left with this piece at the bottom and then we're working from a fairly standard piece. One thing that we need to do is just make sure that we, that we know where these pieces go and when I did the original one, um, I basically, after cutting these using the CNC, I just aligned them right at this end and then this is, is right on this one. The other change I'm going to make is, just, just this will save you some money if you're going to do this, I had to buy these extension pieces, they weren't terribly expensive, but I had to buy them. I'm going to use this rail as the extension piece, which will also allow me to move this gantry if I want to, and then I'll have a new piece in there. It should be fairly obvious when, when, I, when I come to do that. As I mentioned in the description, I, I got this from Amazon. It was labeled as used, but like new. It certainly wasn't in any sort of original packaging. But I couldn't see any sign of it ever being used. There was no sign of it, no scratches, no sign of it being put together and taken apart. It cost me uh, just under $30, $29.94. I had tried to source these parts individually from AliExpress, Timu, places like that, thinking there might be a cheaper way of me getting them. But this was, this was easily the, the, the least sort of expensive version and it looked like it was actually uh, you know, a fairly high quality kit. All you really need is, as you can see, the two extended side rails that are going to just extend that y-axis and then alongside that the, the lead screw, which is the one in the middle, and then the two lead rails. So those are all the parts and let's move on to, to me removing the existing pieces and, and then we'll start putting it back together again. As I mentioned in the intro, first thing we need to do is remove the, the side plates, those red plates that I created when I raised the gantry, and then we'll take the gantry off the rail that it's on right now because we're going to mount it back onto one of the original rails as you'll, you'll see later on. So this is really the, the major change that we're going to be making, but it's, it's not as difficult as it, as it might look. Basically what we're going to do is unscrew the the two end caps the the x pieces and uh, that includes undoing the coupling from the stepper motor into the lead screw which is possibly the hardest thing just just getting there with an allen key you can pull those pieces off and then turn the table upside down and we're going to just pull the rails out and the the um the lead rails 
and the lead screw we need to unscrew and just watch out for that anti-chatter bolt that's in there basically just you know pulling it out is okay but as you put the new one in uh, there's a spring in there so it, it sort of pops out but just just sort of pull it as tight as you can and thread thread back in again and it'll go through the the actual screw thread inside of that little gray piece but it'll also go into the the anti-chatter screw and then just going to screw those two end pieces the the, the x-axis black pieces back on there and and now we have the base with with everything done um one little tip when you're screwing the what what's blue on my machine the connector from the stepper motor to the lead screw just make sure it's as centered as possible and that you tighten both of those two allen ski screws sort of individually otherwise you you can tend to get a bit of a wobble on that lead screw okay and that's stop motion fun um, as you can see we now have the base with it was it was originally this length and, and now we've extended it by by this much um, you know as, as you can see during the stop motion really it was just a matter of replacing these two pieces and these pieces in the middle so what I'm going to do now is using these so if you haven't already done the the, the, the work that I did to raise the bed you could now use these so I'm going to just I don't mount them I actually just put them on here and then when I use these pieces that, that, that create the sort of bridging between that's just really what holds these in place and then you can put the gantry on, on the top two you can put it on the middle two or if you chose to you, you can leave it on the bottom two although then you wouldn't need these so what I'm going to do is and I, I, I might I'll stop motion bits of it but I'll make it a little bit shorter um, I'm going to basically put it back together again as it was so using using these pieces that I have here that I that I made on the CNC just mount these back on again so if you were doing this from scratch you would already have these you just need to machine these pieces here which in my previous video I have a link to the uh, to the files to create these um, and then you, you're good to, to mount the, the, the gantry on the, on the higher level so I'll get that done and then we'll come back and actually see it in action so not much to say here we're just basically putting it all back together again if you want some tips on, on exactly how to do this go back and look at the video where I did the extension um, I did go back and forth a little bit on where to put the 3x4 plate the, the red plate that I created and decided to push that as far forwards as possible it just felt like that gave it a little bit more stability than, than having it where it was before where it was right up against the gantry and what you're seeing here is is the first cut that I've done uh, with the with the new extended gantry and I, I tried just moving things by hand to see what the really the maximum I could cut was and, and as you can see it's around about 340 by 290 was was the absolute max that I could really get but um, here's the end piece M looks great I have to say you know just it doesn't quite I don't think it quite doubled the size but certainly it feels like a much more usable unit now and I'm very happy with with the uh, the change for, for $30